Well, the NFL draft continuing tonight right here on KATC. Tyler Shelvin, the Lafayette native, hopes to hear his name called, but so is ERAT product Elijah Mitchell. Seth Lewis sits down with him tonight and tells his story. At this point, UL running back Elijah Mitchell is used to proving the doubters wrong. Coming from a small school like ERAT, that really motivated me. Just to seeing that people are like, man, he, he, that's, he a 3A school. We don't know if he's going to make it and stuff. So, uh, that, that's been burning in my heart. In four seasons with the Cajuns, Mitchell's over 3,200 rushing yards ranks sixth all time in program history, and his 41 touchdowns is fifth on the list. I just want to prove people wrong. Even though I went to a small school, I can still play at a high level. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's football, and uh, I know what I could do. In college, hate was fueled to the fire, but as he turns to the league, Mitchell is now driven by love. The 22 year old is the father of two sons, Emerson and Elliot. Becoming a father, man, that, that changed a lot for me. Uh, like I say, it wasn't just about me anymore. I had to uh, sacrifice a lot of things, but uh, I enjoyed it. Anytime anything gets hard, man, uh, those two names always pop into my head. And I was like, man, no matter how, what I'm going through, whatever, whatever matters, what happens, I think about my boys. Mitchell's family serving as motivation during the pre-draft process, from his impressive week at the Senior Bowl to running a blazing 4-3-8-40 at UL's Pro Day. Now the Erath native could hear his name called as early as the third round tonight. For Mitchell, the moment will be further proof that he's built to last. Just watching the previous drafts and stuff, just seeing people get their name called, like uh, crying and everything. Like I said, I picture myself doing the same thing because at the end of the day, you know that you work for it and it's like it's finally coming to reality for me and uh, I can't wait. Covering the Cajuns, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports.